Hello everyone, welcome to VB Advanced. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, I am going to talk about how to speed up your execution of your code and how to be specific about executing the code. So let's go to the next slide and how this is about how to speed up things. So let's get started and open up our Excel where it is. Open up, yeah. Here it is. So you are familiar with the loop. If I go to Visual Basic and insert a module, sub speed up. Okay. So for my loop is equal to one to fifteen thousand. Next, we my loop so this will do what this will do nothing until unless we put some command in between for our next and that is range a1 dot value is equal to ah oh, i can type faster control c control v plus one and let's reset the value is equal to zero at the start so if i execute this macro what will happen oh you can't see sorry my bad let me so here it is now you can see a better view so let's execute this and we can see that in a1 this Excel is executing and we can see the change of numbers. But you see, from what we need is we need the end result of the macro. We don't want to see this what's going on, uh, what's going on on the sheet. So let's see, uh, can we turn it off? Yes, we can turn it off and we can turn it off with a simple command. And the command is application dot Ah, dot screen there is some mistake application dot yeah, screen updating is equal to false so if i say or i turn off the screen updating my macro will execute very quickly so it is always good to turn back the defaults before we leave our macro. So application dot screen update is equal to will turn it back on. So let's execute this. Oh, you we can't see. Let's delete this and let's execute this now. And we have fifteen thousand instant. We we didn't see the steps how. Uh, VBA has reached to 15,000, but we saved a lot of time. So once you have your macro ready, you have debugged it. There are no errors, you and you are sure that this will going to this is going to work. And then you can put this command application dot screen updating is equal to false. So we can see what is so is equal to false. So this will execute very quickly. Most of the time, most of the time, I have saved at least one third of the time of the execution. And when you are uh, executing a macro that will take 30 to 40 minutes to execute, uh, saving uh, 15 to 20 minutes is a very good, uh, remarkable achievement with a very good speed up. So if I execute it now, you will see that nothing i don't know either it's working or not for, for one second or two seconds and if i can't see any update uh, for say 20 minutes i there can be some doubts that either the computer is hanged or macro is stuck so what to do then what we can do is we can post few messages time and again with some intervals so that we be sure that macro is being executed. So let's see how we can post this such. 
messages it is done by using application dot status bar okay status bar is equal to a say one so what i can do is i can i should be putting it here okay and i can say that um, this should be is equal to my loop so this will go from 1 to 15000 from my loop and again a uh, good habit is if we change anything we should reset it back before we leave the macro so is equal to false so status bar message is off with this command so for the timing let's turn it into command and i have to zoom out so you can see what is going to happen and let's say yeah okay i think you have a good view now so let's execute this and what is happening can you notice any change can you so we have this 15000 over here but this time the execution took some extra trying so let's try to run it again but this time i want you to focus on bottom of this sheet where we have ready written ready appearing so focus here so as i'm running this macro you can see the numbers are appearing where there was ready so this is the status bar message place so when i send a message application dot status bar is equal to something so that message will appear in this place so uh, instead of uh, uh, running from 1 to 15000 what we can do is uh, whenever there is uh, after 100 uh, cycles it the, there can be a message that uh, this much execution has been completed so when uh, we are running a macro that is taking uh, 30 minutes so uh, we can send a message every one minute or what we can do is we can add this command application dot status bar to different places within the uh, macro so uh, we can know how much has been executed or like uh, preparing email sending email uh, doing some calculations and stuff like that so we could know that what is happening in the background so um, application dot screen updating if if it, it is turned off by using the argument false it will speed up execution of your macro okay and then there is another thing i want to share and that is this command range a1 to whatever dot value is equal to this to this instead of copy pasting if you, if you only want to post some values don't choose copy paste use this range is equal to this this will this will be a quick quick turnaround for example there is our excel so let's maximize it and let's go to vb and let's say sub v paste yeah range a1 to 100,000 or let's say 25,000 dot value is equal to range b1 to b25,000 dot value so let's execute this and see how much time it takes it's very quick it's very quick and let's try to copy paste uh, let's enter some numbers first uh, f5 go to b15000 uh, 25000 and uh, let's enter 9 
and let's try to execute this now so f8 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 and this is quick instant and let's try to copy paste i hope that uh, i will be able to show you some lag um, range uh, this one let's put it turn it to command and then copy paste Uh, this should be dot select. Oh, no, this is not selection. It should be B. B one to GitHub select selection dot copy, and then we will have range A one dot select, and then. Uh, Active sheet dot paste, yeah. Active sheet dot paste. So let's try to run and let's see if we notice any lag. Oh, there is an error. Active sheet dot paste. Stop and run again. So it was a bit of instant, but you could see that cursor for selecting and then pasting. So if you are pasting huge data which the 25,000 rows and 100 columns it will going to take some time while copy pasting but if you are going to use this command when you are when you are just playing with the values not the formats and not the borders this will be a quick turnaround for copying the value from the source cells to the target cell so this is the command to speed up the uh, to speed up the execution of the macro. So now I am going to talk about another tip, and that is be specific. When you are executing your macro, it should run on a specific workbook and on a specific sheet. So it is always better to use this command, this workbook dot activate or workbooks, my workbook, whatever the workbook you want that macro to execute on should be selected first. What I mean by this is that uh, can we have a blank workbook? Let me open up Microsoft Excel and let's have this workbook and. Visual Basic and insert a module. What I am talking about, I am saying that uh, if you, we have this macro, first of all, you what you should do that you should specify which workbook is this is going to work on. This workbook dot activate. So this means that this workbook, the workbook with the code, will be the will be the active workbook and the code is going to execute in this workbook if you want to use another workbook you can use this format workbooks then the name of the workbook dot activate okay so activate that then be specific about the sheet so there there are two ways to uh, refer to a sheet for example sheets and then within the bracket in and and the commas you can Type the name of the sheet. Let's change the name of the sheet. And this should be analyzed. Okay. And let's go here and type sheets analyze dot select. So this way, uh, if I have like two, three sheets and I'm on sheet number four, and I if I execute this command, so my macro is going to work on this analyze sheet always okay so uh, if i run if i have a shortcut key and i accidentally press the, that shortcut key my macro is not going to run on another sheet or another workbook this is specifically this macro is going to specifically uh, select this workbook and then the sheets analyze okay then there is another way of uh, referring to sheets and instead of using these inverted commas if i say sheets 2.select then what will happen 
right now my selected sheet is analyzed if i say sheets 2 so this will sheet 2 which is the left which is the second sheet from the left will get selected if i move my analyze sheet at the second spot then i execute this so let's say i'm in sheet 4 and if i'm going to run this command now again analyze is second sheet from the left so this is going to get selected so we can refer sheets to with the sheet number 2 so f8 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 and this is now sheet 3 so um, this is how we refer to sheets and uh, again i am uh, advising you be specific be specific always uh, about which uh, workbook this macro is going to run don't leave open uh, don't leave uh, your macros open always start with this workbook dot activate and then refer to the sheet where you want to this macro to get executed so this was uh, about it in uh, in the, about today's video if you like this video and if you learn something new think about giving a thumbs up uh, about to this video and if you have any question leave that in the comments